Hello, this is James Mandelbaum with Gigamon. Today we're talking about Gigamon basics, powering on, and basic setup of your Gigamon appliance. The agenda for today is initial setup from power on and enabling the cards inside the box. Before we begin, you'll need to know the account credentials to log in. The username is admin, all lowercase. Password is admin 123 capital A bang. Exclamation point for those of you not familiar with that. So let's begin. Okay, we're here at the login prompt. As we said, the, pass the username is admin. Password is admin 123 capital A bang. When you log in, it'll ask you if you want to use the wizard. I would recommend you do. So we'll type the word yes. It's going to ask you for a host name. This is a friendly name that you can use. You can accept the Gigamon name plus the serial number of the box, but I like to use something a little friendlier. It's going to then come back and ask you, do you want to use DHCP? No. Do you want a zero conf? No. It's going to ask you for an IP address. You can accept the default mask if you want, or you can type your own. I'm going to go ahead and accept the default. Default gateway. Primary DNS. A domain name. And in my case, I'm not going to enable IPv6 just because I don't feel like typing out the addresses, but you can, of course. Secure cryptography is something that you may want to enable in the future, but if you say yes, you could be locking yourself out of your browser. So we're going to say no for now. You can enable it later. And secure passwords, we're going to say no, but again, you can enable it later. We'll accept the default of minimum password length of 8, and then it's going to ask us to create an admin password. It does say enter to leave unchanged, but this is a wizard that runs you can run at any time. So this is the first time. So if you just hit enter, it's going to come back and say you can't leave the default. So I'm going to go ahead and type in a password. You're looking for upper and lowercase numeric and one special character. If you have multiple boxes and you want to cluster them together, this is where you would say yes and provide the cluster information. Since this is not in a cluster, I'm going to say no. You can always add it to a cluster later. Box ID is a unique ID for each box. This can be one, two, three. It can also be the number of the data center that this box lives in. This is to identify the box and slot when you do configurations, which we're going to show you in a minute. It is now going to come back and confirm all of your settings. So everything here looks good. So I'm just going to hit enter and it's now going to run the configuration mode and you're in. Now we're sitting here in classic mode which you have some basic commands that you can do, but I want to go ahead and get into configuration mode. So I'm going to type enable. Now, just like in other routers and switches, you can type the first couple characters and hit a tab. And then I wanted to go configure terminal. So C O tab T tab, save myself some steps. So now I'm in configuration mode. So if I type show cards, It'll show me that I've got cards inserted, but they're not configured and they're not operational. So in order to do that, I need to enable the cards. So I can do that one by one by doing card slot, box number, and slot number. Do you remember I talked about box number earlier? So I'm gonna go ahead and enable card in, in the slot of box one, slot one. And if I do a show cards, it'll come back and now show that it's configured and up and running. Now, I don't want to go through and do it all, so I can do a cards, and if again, the question mark, it'll show you my options, so I can do card all, enter. It's going to go ahead and configure all of them. So if I do a show cards, everything is configured and up and running. Remember, you can rerun this wizard at any time by going from classic mode into configuration mode by running the enable configure terminal command and then typing in configuration jump dash start and it'll rerun the wizard. My name is Jim Mandelbaum. I want to thank you for spending your time with me. For more videos, visit the community page on Gigamon as well as the YouTube channel. Thank you very much.